The 3DS eShop is closing in just a few days, so this will be my final video about games that you should pick up on the 3DS eShop before it shuts down. If you want to see my other videos, link to them will be in the description. This video is going to be about games that are just way too expensive to buy physically, but are relatively cheap to buy digitally. The first game on my list is Kid Icarus Uprising, and this game is selling right now on eBay for like $80 to $100, depending on condition, but it's only a $35 game if you buy it digitally on the eShop, so you can save a ton of money if you want to play this game right now if you buy it on the eShop. Pretty much, it's a third-person shooter game that was released in 2012, and it's the third installment in the Kid Icarus franchise. This game is kind of based around Greek mythology where Medusa returns and she wants to destroy humanity so Pitt the main character tries to fight against her and he goes on all these missions. Tons of items and unlockables can be obtained to strengthen yourself and better the gameplay. It's a single player campaign game but it has some multiplayer modes that are available for up to six players which is kind of crazy. This game offers a variety of different missions, like there's some linear missions, there's some open world free roaming missions. This game has a lot of amazing reviews as an 8.5 out of 10 from IGN has great graphics, really well written characters, and really great gameplay. So I think you should definitely pick this game up if you like the Kid Icarus series or want to try it out. Number two, I got Shin Megami Tensei IV, which is four. And this game sells for about 70 to $80 online, but on the eShop, it's only $20. So this is a massive saving. This game was released in 2014 and it is basically an RPG turn-based battle system game where you need to be strategic to win the battles so you can also get more attacks for each turn. This game also has voice acting which is really cool because a lot of people prefer voice acting games when there's dialogue rather than just reading the screen like most Pokemon games. It also has a very solid storyline. The game starts off a little bit slow but it definitely does pick up as you play it. It's a pretty difficult game which gives the player a really good and enjoyable challenge. There is an easy mode for people that really just don't want to deal with the hard difficulty. You can collect monsters and fuse them together which is always a fun task and a lot of people actually say that this is one of if not the best RPG on the 3DS. Next up we got Fire Emblem Awakening. So this game ranges from about $45 to $60 online, I guess depending on condition and everything. But on the eShop it's only $40. So I think this game is definitely going to shoot up in value in a few years. I could definitely see this being like a $90 game to buy physically. So I think you should pick it up now before it's way too late. This is the 13th installment to the Fire Emblem series, which is crazy. They've had so many games, but this is the first one on the 3DS system. This game focuses more on tactical movement across a grid-based battlefield. You can build up relationships with other characters which improve their abilities. This game is set 2,000 years after the original Fire Emblem game which is kind of crazy so you got a ton of storyline going on. Fire Emblem games are just always heavily loved by the fans and they're always a great game to play. This game did receive some criticism upon its release but shortly after it won some awards and quickly became one of the best games on the 3DS and is probably a must play. Next up, I got Zelda A Link Between Worlds. So this one sells for about 30-ish online and sells for $20 on the eShop. This game probably will go up in value. I know it's kind of relatively close to the resale value, but I still think you could definitely save some money by picking this up on the eShop. So this story is set years after A Link to the Past and Link has the ability to merge into walls as a 2D painting to reach new areas and travel between Hyrule and Low Rule. So it's pretty much just like a typical Zelda game. There's nothing too much different about like the overall storyline but the gameplay and graphics are unique and they're different if you've never played this game i think you should definitely try it i think all zelda games just have something special about them and they're all unique in their own ways so definitely pick up this zelda game the last game on this list is Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask. This game sells for about $60 to $70 online and digitally on the eShop it's only $40 and I definitely think this is another game that's going to go up in value. I think they're actually releasing a new game for this series on the Switch soon but I'm not 100% sure about that. But this game is pretty much the fifth installment to the Professor Layton series and it's the first one for the 3DS. This was actually a launch title for the 3DS in Japan apparently and was one of the best selling games on launch day in Japan. It's a puzzle game that's split into various chapters. You can explore new areas and talk to the characters around the map to help solve different mysteries, and you can solve different puzzles that give you pickerets, which give you bonus content. So it's just a really cool puzzle mystery type of game. I definitely think it's a really interesting series that's unique from other games. Professor Layton is a game series that I personally want to get into more, and I'm definitely excited to see where they go with this series in the future.
Thanks for watching guys, make sure to subscribe for more Nintendo and gaming related content. This is most likely the last video I will make about the 3DS eShop as of right now before it closes down. It closes down on March 27th, so at the time that I'm releasing this video, it closes in like 5 days. It's kind of sad that the 3DS eShop is closing, but everything must come to an end. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.